So I finally watched a silent voice and oh my God, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I don't even know if I can call this a review because you already know I like it. This is just going to be me talking about how great this movie is and why you need to watch it. I want to preface this by saying this is not my type of anime. I don't watch romance anime. I don't watch really emotional anime. When it comes to anime, I am huge into action, adventure, science fiction, fantasy things. I need things happening like like all the time and this was it was a nice change of pace i would say the same thing i said with clan ad even though it's not something i usually would go chase after i'm glad i stepped out of my comfort zone and watched this it came out late 2016 early 2017 and i haven't seen a whole lot of people talking about this like i think they should it is just as good as your name, if not better. And I mean that, all right? Now, this movie is directed by Naoko Yamada. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. He is the same person who directed Garden of Words, which is another beautiful film. This movie is about a young delinquent named Shoyo, who in elementary school bullies this deaf girl named Shoko and because of his bullying of her when he he becomes bullied and then he kind of you know understands how that was wrong and the movie is about him pretty much trying to reconnect with Shoko and kind of undo all the bad things he did when they were kids this movie is very real like it it talks about some real stuff it's about loneliness, suicide, um, people not being able to connect, the importance of how important it is for people to change and why some people can't change. And it's, oh my God, this movie is, it's, oh my God, I, I can't stress this enough. The music in this movie is beautiful. The animation is beautiful. The voice actors, man, my favorite character in this whole movie is uh, Nagatsuka, which is, shoyo's best friend it he reminded me so much of myself i i love his character he is he's the jealous best friend and it's it's hilarious um the uh, the characters feel like real people i've haven't seen that in a whole lot of anime ever where the characters aren't just characters they feel like people that live in our world we never really get stories about bullies seeing you know the damage that they've caused and then kind of retracing their steps to fix it i'm glad that we have this it's it's really neat it's really cool the character of shoyo i i feel like he, it's it's a it's a pretty deep character you know this is a character who is trying to be a good person but still feels guilty about what he did to shoko when they were kids and it's just you know it's something that sat with him for pretty much his entire life ever since then in the beginning of the movie he tries to kill himself and it's 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 crazy shoko you know the, the 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 deaf girl of the movie she pretty much you know when when they when they get older she's incapable of making friends because of her shyness that she developed because of shoyo's bullying so both of them are lonely for different reasons you know Shoyo is lonely because no one wants to talk to him or associate with him because of his history as a bully when they were kids. And Shoko is lonely because she has difficulty forming relationships because she's too shy because she thinks people are going to judge her for being deaf. And it's, it's just, it's, this is a beautiful, beautiful movie. And there's a character in here named, um, I think, Uno or Ueno, it's one of the one of the one of the girl bullies when they were kids. She gets older. I hate her. Like she's the most villainous person I've ever seen in any medium. And it's crazy because this isn't like a crazy action movie. She's a real person. And I think that's why she's so terrible because I feel all of us know someone like her 
who is completely selfish and doesn't care what everyone else feels like as long as she gets hers. And the movie tries to make you like her near the end and understand where she's coming from, but I completely didn't. I was like, no, like, there's no way. I don't like her. I didn't like her in the beginning. I didn't like her at the end of the movie, but... It, this movie's fantastic. I have nothing negative to say. I have maybe a gripe. It's a little bit on the long side, but I feel like that's not really a bad thing. I would say that might be the drawback for some people is the length, but that's really it. I mean, it's not like disappearance of Harder Who Sees Me long, but it's still it's still a pretty long movie. But I think it's a movie that'll keep you engaged the entire time. You should watch this movie. Watch A Silent Voice. If you like your name, you're probably going to like A Silent Voice. And that's really all I have to say. Go out and see it. But yeah, that's it. Um, Please subscribe, like, keep on watching anime. Anime is what keeps the world turning, man. All right. You have a good day.